yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's your boy Worst Effing Gamer and we've got a brand new hero today in Soul Hunters, guys. And I'm crazy excited because this chick that we've been talking about for the last couple of days is finally here, guys. If you didn't already know, she was kind of introduced already in Sylphie's Medallion selection. We already talked about it a little bit, so now she's available in the Conjuring Stone. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to summon her, and we're going to see how badass she really is and if it's worth... You know, getting her four, five, or six, seven stars, whatever it's gonna take me, I'm willing to go for it, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's go and get her right now. I have one free pull. Uh, this would be really interesting if I can get her on my free pull. Ow, hell no. Uh, of course not. So we got Sylphie, which I don't need at all. Um, all right, here we go, guys. Time pull now. Yeah! All right, that's 40 right there. Oh god, I mean 4,000 gems. Uh, that wasn't good. Don't. Oh! All right. 8,000. Nothing yet. Next one. Yeah! Woo! Yes! I got her, boys. We finally got her. All right, so her name is Angela. Angel of Ink. What? <laughs> the Angel of Ink. That sounds awesome. Wow, look at her go. So I thought that was some kind of a sword, but it actually turns out to be a... That's like a feather pen, guys. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we got her card now. Let's see where we're at with... We're at 49 out of 100, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and get her to 4 stars. But for now, let's go ahead, guys. Let's start this spotlight video. All right, there we go. So first thing we want to do is let's wait, let's upgrade it to level 100 real quick. Uh, and then let's go ahead. I'm going to quickly just burn through these fusions, guys. I can get her all the way to orange plus 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, where are we at? Orange, I mean, purple plus four. Uh, let's slow it down here. Uh, let's go. We're at orange now. Uh, looks like she needs a lot of shurikens. Shurikens! Yeah, save your shurikens, boys. Shave the shurikens. All right, that's orange plus one. Now we are orange plus two. Let's go ahead, give her all this goody stuff. Ooh! Boom, and last one here. Boom. Alrighty then. That was good. She's all set. Orange plus two. Next up is abilities. Let's go ahead. Let's check out these abilities, guys. Um, and an awakening. Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah, yeah. Alright, so first things first, our ultimate is called Rainbow. Ooh. Angela steals colors of all the heroes except herself. And heroes under effect of her source spell? What the hell is this? Their energy amount cannot change and they cannot use ultimates. Also, all enemies receive damage. When this ultimate is active, Angela gets 30% less magical and physical damage. What? What does that mean? Alright, that's kind of tricky, guys. So we're going to have to really, really dig into this. So it steals colors of all the heroes except herself and heroes under effect of her source spell spell which is her third ability there so we'll have to go into that first their energy amount cannot change and they cannot use ultimates wow also all enemies receive damage when this ultimate is active angela gets 30 percent less magical and physical damage all right guys so i'll break this more down in a battle for you guys afterwards so stay tuned for that but seems really really sick Second ability, Punishment. Angela deals uh, physical damage to the enemy with the highest energy. Also, she deals additional damage depending on the amount of energy, enemy's energy. Alright. Enemy won't get energy for this attack. If Punishment activates when Rainbow is active, Angela gets 60% of damage dealt as HP. Wow! Are you kidding me, dude? That seems sick! Damn! Alright, so she seems really good, guys. Wow. I love this too. Alright, here's the third ability. Source. Angela 
chooses an ally with highest defense, prioritizing other heroes. This ally spends 10% less energy for skills. Wow. And gets bonus energy from using skills. When rainbow skill is active, ally gets 50% of Angela's magical and physical damage reduction effect. Are you kidding me, dude? So that rainbow ability seems incredible. And she seems to be all about energy, guys. Depleting your opponent's energy and giving your heroes more energy. Very, very sweet. Alright, so fourth ability, Eclipse. Angela targets enemy who deals the highest damage. Lowering their physical and magic attack and skill effects. Every time another enemy deals more damage, skill effects will transfer to them. Effect transfer after 3 seconds at least. Skill duration shortens with each transfer. Each time Angela activates rainbow skill, she will also cast Eclipse. If she already cast that Eclipse before, um, its duration will, uh, will get reset. Cannot be used on bosses. Alright, so this ability has got so much things going on at once, guys. It's hard to even think about it now so i'm going to break this down for you guys in the battle later on so stay tuned for that as well because uh, this one seems to have a lot but seems crazy and her awakened ability is burden the less hp angela has the faster uh, her cast speed becomes okay so the faster she can use her abilities the less her hp is when she dies enemies who killed her will get slower until finally will be turned into stone for some time Alright, so the enemy that's going to kill her is going to get turned into stone after being slowed down. God damn it, so she seems really dope, guys. Jesus Christ. An awesome, awesome hero to... Just off the top of my head. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to go ahead and break down these abilities a little further. I'm going to work on them a little bit here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to the next part. Alright, so what I want to show you guys now is the Heroic Academy that I decided to go for uh, Angela, guys. So check it out. I'm not going to break them down, you know, one by one as to what I did. But you guys can kind of see them. And if you have her, you can kind of go along and see if you want to go the same way. I went more of a physical defense on her with, um, obviously, ability level, energy efficiency. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Max health, um, magic crit rating versus magic crit damage. I feel just... You know, being able to get more crits because she does deal AoE damage is better than just damage on uh, our abilities, in my opinion, right? But that's what I went with on our Rogue Academy. Alright guys, so this is the time to actually understand her abilities and actually show you guys what she does and break everything down. It's going to be tricky, but I'm going to do it for you. Uh, she begins with a basic attack there, as you can see. And then she will jump into a second ability here. So let's break this one down really quickly. Second ability is called Punishment. She deals physical damage to the enemy with the highest energy. Also, she deals additional damage depending on the amount of energy. So uh, if the enemy has more energy, it, they're going to receive more damage. Now, if this ability is activated while the Rainbow ability is active, which is her ultimate, then Angela will also get 60% of damage dealt as HP back. So she's also a self-healer only when Rainbow is active, right? So there's a lot of moving parts to her, guys. All her abilities work really great together, but they really, really all depend on her ultimate, which we will break down when I actually activate. But keep that in mind, all right? So it's going to deal damage to the enemy with the highest energy energy right away it's it's early on but as the game as the battle progresses uh your opponent is going to build more energy obviously it's going to deal more damage and then by then you already have used your ultimate so everything adds up as the battle goes on so that's her second ability their punishment it's a pretty decent ability not bad now this is actually her fourth ability she doesn't go into the third she goes into her fourth which is eclipse targets the enemy who deals the highest damage so whoever has already dealt the highest damage at this point she's going to uh you know deals damage to them targets them i mean lowering their physical and magic attack and their skill effect so if they happen to have some kind of a skill effect this is going to uh you know lower it every time another hero deals more damage the skill effect is going to transfer right there's a three second cooldown i'm pretty sure on the transfer of the skill and every time it's transferred the cooldown gets lower so it's it's shorter but just so keep that in mind all right so uh whoever deals the most damage if somebody else deals more damage it transfers to them and then that effect ability keeps getting moving on uh also every time she casts rainbow which is again her ultimate she will also cast eclipse along with it so eclipse will automatically be triggered 
while uh, when she uses her ultimate, uh, if, she, uh, if she's already used her Eclipse ability, which is this, you know, in this battle she's already used it at this point, then it just gets reset. So as we said, the cooldown of transferring, it's going to just reset to the highest damage dealer. All right, but all you really have to keep in mind is uh, she targets, you know, the enemy with the highest damage and then it lowers their physical or magic attack. Just keep that in mind and that is a very to simplify everything, right? So that's her fourth ability there, guys. As we can see, uh, she hit the, you know, the archer in the back and lowered their physical attack. That's how you, you know, see that ability there in action. Now, this one here is her third ability that we skipped. This is Source. Uh, chooses the ally with the highest defenses. All right, that ally, uh, this is pretty cool right here. That ally spends 10% less energy for their skills, which is really, really good, right? And then also they get a bonus energy for using their skills. So every time they use their skill, they get a little bit extra bonus energy. So their energy should fill a little faster. And it costs them 10% less to use their energy, um, their ability essentially their ultimate so this is a really cool ability it's a support ability obviously but it's very very cool i love this ability and then once again when rainbow is active um the ally gets 50 percent of uh, angela's magic and physical damage reduction effect which we, we'll talk about a little bit later when like i said we activate her ultimate but all of her abilities guys get a crazy bonus when she uses her ultimate so like i said they work really really well together on their own they're not that great but if they are activated while she's an ultimate it's incredible so let's keep going on here so as you can see here she gives this source ability to um leon there so all his abilities are just getting taken less damage to activate i mean less energy to activate and they build more they should be building faster all right, now, here we go. This is her ultimate, guys. So let me just break this down for you guys really simply. So it's called Rainbow. That's the ability. Obviously, she's a drawer. She's a painter. So she's going to create a magic masterpiece. So she steals colors from all the heroes except herself and the hero that's under uh, the effect of her source ability, which we just talked about, which at this battle is Leon. So herself and Leon are not going to get their colors taken away. So what this pretty much does is... It cancels out their energy, guys. They cannot gain any more energy. First, their energy cannot change. It can go lower and it can go higher. And they cannot use their ultimate. So, huh, uh, pretty much just think of how Haruk uses his shadow punch and it stops a hero from using their ultimate. This one is essentially the same thing except over the whole area of effect, meaning the whole enemy team, which is crazy, very, very... OP, if you ask me, it's really, really good ability, guys. It's really good. Um, so that's essentially the main part that it does. Now, also, it deals damage to everybody. And then, let's include the other abilities. Uh, it also gives Angela 30% less magical and physical damage. So she's going to be taking less 30% less damage on herself. But if she uses her source ability, which is her third ability... This also transfers to the hero that she uses source on. Remember the hero with the highest defense. So that hero also gets 50% of the damage taken. So it's essentially it's 15% less. That's what I'm you know, guessing at the top of my head. So that's also going to transfer to that hero. And don't forget what we talked about in the front in the beginning. Whenever she uses Eclipse, whenever she uses her ultimate, she automatically casts Eclipse as well. So let's break this down a little bit. It stops all of your heroes from gaining energy. They can't use their ultimates. Deals damage to all of your enemies. Uh, gives Angela and possibly another hero 30% less magic and physical damage. And she casts Eclipse. And if you got what Eclipse is, it's when she uh, lowers the attack, you know, magic and physical attack of a single hero, which we can already see. She's lowering it from the archer again. Um, so it resets that ability right there. So yeah, that's everything going on with this ability, guys. It's pretty incredible. Let's just go ahead and take a look at how this is performed. So look at this. She's stealing all colors, creating a rainbow. And then all of a sudden, just a boom, a big explosion. Paint everywhere. Look at this. This is awesome. Paint everywhere. Um, killing a lot of people. The physical attack is lowered here, as you can see, because of Eclipse has been changed. Um, and then all your opponents, as you can see here, are in a dark 
state they cannot their energy is not changing at this point guys they cannot use their ultimates and uh yeah man it's pretty insane guys it's really really powerful in my opinion it seems like the next op uh, ability to use in the arena right here look more the same uh, you know pretty much the same thing it just does a lot of damage here now this is a campaign battle just to show you guys because she's still really really under leveled she's not ready to go i mean our abilities are not really maxed out but i wanted to show you guys what her abilities do and you know break them down for you so you kind of get an idea of what she does essentially she is an aoe haruk in my opinion kind of the same thing her, her and haruk are the only ones that kind of have this ability which is incredible so i'm really loving this ability guys and that's pretty much it for this battle but yeah that's pretty much her abilities in a nutshell oh man this chick seems to be badass guys now i'm not gonna lie i really love her abilities um she's a bit like haruk but it's aoe against the whole team so that just seems op as hell right sight yikes this is gonna be sick she's going to prevent your opponents from using the ultimates for a short period of time it's not for a huge period of time but for whatever time it's she's going to be able to do it it seems incredible man that seems like a great ultimate um mira is a great damage dealing backliner but this chick angela seems to be a great arena backliner guys really really good so um true i can't wait to test her out a little bit further and try her out some more but i'm really really excited for her right now man i can't wait to you know keep using her enchant her more finish her abilities and actually show you guys what she can do at full strength but she seems incredible guys so let me know what you think in the comments if you like angela the angel i mean she's the ink angel that's incredible that looks awesome i don't know why she's got a what is that, a collar on her neck like she's being trapped or something but boy uh i love this girl i think she's gonna be great guys jesus christ i can't wait to freaking max her out all right that'll be it for today guys i will check you guys out on the next soul hunter spotlight video till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night peace out everybody